Ford just released some adventure-inspired Bronco concept trucks. These are designed to show off the 200 plus accessories that they have coming on the Ford Bronco. And someone at Ford also just tweeted out a Bronco versus Wrangler at Moab video showing the Bronco apparently doing better than a Wrangler on some rock crawling. We're gonna get into the specifics of that too because it's kind of crazy. My name is Eric and I cover enthusiast-based vehicles. Let's take a look at this video that someone at Ford PR tweeted out last night, but it's now deleted. This video comes from an Instagram and YouTube account called Free Wheelin' Overland. I'm gonna link him down below. It's a guy who describes himself as a off-road tour guy in Moab, Utah. So I don't think he works for Ford, but the whole thing is a little bit interesting. This takes place on Moab on the Hell's Revenge Trail. Ford has been out testing with some engineers the last couple of days. There's been a lot of videos that have been posted uh, with the Ford Bronco going over a lot of interesting rocky trails. So Free Will and Overland described this as a Bronco Sport Badlands. And he says the other vehicle is a Jeep Wrangler Rubicon and he says it's lifted. So this is a pretty slippery piece of rock here. You can see a lot of people have been over it before. And the Bronco Sport Badland takes a run at it. He doesn't get up the first time. He takes another run at it. And he gets over this obstacle. It's not the easiest obstacle in the world, but he does get over it. Looks like he's got a little bit of momentum. Then we have the Wrangler. It looks like to be a JL, a new one, and it's apparently lifted and it's struggling. So let's take a look at this. So the Bronco Sport, this is the Badlands trim, which is the most off-road capable. It has the higher level 4x4 system. Two attempts. But this Wrangler, one attempt. Nope. Two. Nope. Three. Nope. Well, we will just cut to the chase. It actually took seven attempts for it to get over this obstacle. So what's really going on here? I think there's a couple things, a couple major factors. One is the level of driver experience. You can see that the guy or the gal in the Wrangler is pretty tentative, sort of goes up to the rock face a little bit slowly, gets on it, and then hits the gas. And so what you're gonna get there is a lot of wheel spin, which is happening. Again, this is a pretty slippery piece of rock and wheel spin is not conducive to forward travel. So I think the biggest factor here really is driver experience. A Wrangler should have no difficulty getting up and over a piece of rock like this. It's got a very capable four x four system. Now, the other thing that I noticed, which also relates exactly back to experience is that the tires seem to be pretty fully inflated in this video. Now, if you have any experience off-roading, if you've done any at all, you're gonna know that when you're going over more difficult terrain, like rocks, for example, you definitely wanna air down your tires. And there's a big reason for that. There's actually a couple of them, but the most important one is to increase traction. And why does airing down your tires increase traction? Well, you can see in this little clip right here that the more rubber that you have on a piece of rock, the bigger the contact patch is, the more friction you are going to generate, and that's gonna give you the most traction. Bigger contact patch, more friction, allows you to get up and over a difficult obstacle. Makes sense, so that's why you air down your tires. So I think the whole thing really has to do with experience. Ford tweeted this out, or a rep from Ford tweeted it out last night. It was deleted by this morning when I took a look at it, and I don't know why he deleted it, but my guess is he probably got a lot of criticism for posting this. But, but thank you, Freewheel and Overland, for posting this, I've got his links down below. So Ford released these adventure inspired concepts, both for the Bronco and also for the Bronco Sport. So this is the first official communication we're really getting from Ford since the launch, which was about a month ago. And as you know, a big part of the Ford ecosystem is going to be aftermarket accessories. And Ford wants to be really the first one there. And so they are claiming that they're gonna have about 200 aftermarket accessories available at launch for the Bronco and about 100 or so for the Bronco Sport. The first one is the Bronco two-door trail rig, they call it. It's designed to be the ultimate hardcore trail runner and it says this is based on the two-door Badland. So again, this is showing off the different performance parts that they've got. This has got the Ford Performance Worn winch up front. This is the modular front bumper. So this has got the Ford Performance tube doors 
Ford claims that they are going to be crash testing these, so they are designed for safety standards. They should be pretty easy to open. They definitely look pretty cool. It's also got this really cool, it's, it's a rigid off-road light bar. They're obviously in working a collaboration with a bunch of aftermarket manufacturers like Rigid, like Yakima. And this light bar really nicely integrates with the, it looks like the roof rack there too. And of course this has the off-road light pod, so it looks like you need two parts to this. Everything is gonna be a little bit expensive. It has the Yakima lock and load roof rack, and it's got the Ford Performance Warren recovery kit. I'm not sure what's in that, but in the back it has a swing out gate and a table that kind of pulls out too. I know it's not in this video here. And one of the custom concept parts is these, these custom limb risers. Looks like they're just some bit of wire, you could probably do that on your own. The next one I kind of like, this is the four-door version of the Bronco. This is based on the Outer Banks, and the whole idea behind this is a professional fishing guide company could outfit their Bronco like this. So it's got the Best Top Sunrider first row soft top I think that is an aftermarket soft top. I don't know that's a Ford piece specifically. They didn't provide a lot of information here. It has the modular front bumper and it has the performance safari bar. It also has these rigid light pods again, but no lights in them. And then in the rear gate, it's got a uh, mole organizer, uh, front weather mats, and then these custom concept parts up here too. So it has this custom modified rear cap roof rails, custom Yakima lock and load platform roof rack, and this custom overhood fishing platform and rod holder. So these are not exactly available from Ford right now, but I think they're basically telling the aftermarket, hey, go ahead and make some of this stuff. We don't want it all for ourselves. We definitely want to encourage the aftermarket. And I think that's the whole idea really behind the Bronco is to get a lot of aftermarket support, get a lot of enthusiasm going behind this brand. You know, the launch was really, really successful for Ford. They have, they claim about 165,000 orders for the Bronco right now. Their order banks are really filled up. So for all the people that want a Bronco, if you still want one, go ahead and put in your order on the website. If you got any information on Ford, GM, Toyota, anybody, if you got some insider information, go ahead and message me on Instagram. I keep everything completely secure. I'll never reveal your identity. If you've got an order in for the Bronco, you put your $100 deposit down already, you probably know that your deposit goes to a specific dealer. So Ford tells us you have until October 31st to change dealers in the order system. The Maverick is a small pickup truck that is coming down the line. It should be available in the not too distant future. And it's gonna slot below the Ford Ranger. So the Ford Ranger is the lowest, the entry level pickup truck. It's sort of the lowest level right now. This is gonna come in below that. So this is going to be a unibody pickup truck. And this is based on the same platform as the Ford Escape and the Bronco Sport. So there was some leaked information a couple weeks ago that to Motor One, they have a photograph of this tailgate with the Maverick name stamped very prominently on it. So Ford Authority has reported the rear window is gonna have a sliding open option. I don't know if it's gonna be electric. I don't know if it's gonna be just a manual sliding rear window, but the Ford Ranger has this and it's also available in the F-150. So that's kind of cool because if you want to get into the bed and you want to reach out, you don't want to get out of the truck, you can basically reach back in, grab something from the bed and bring it inside. Kind of a nice little feature. Also great for ventilation. We don't have a lot of information on the powertrain in this right now, but I think it's pretty reasonable to expect probably the same powertrains that we are seeing in the Bronco, AKA the 1.5 liter three cylinder, 181 horsepower engine, and also the two liter four cylinder that makes 245 horsepower. As more Maverick and Bronco news become available, I'm gonna report it right here. So go ahead and subscribe if you like this kind of content. Now there's something called off rodeos. And if you buy a Bronco, the two door or the four door, or you buy the Bronco Sport Badlands, you will get access for free to a two day driver development course. And they're gonna be available at four different locations throughout the country. So Ford has unveiled the location of the first one, and that is going to be somewhere near Austin, Texas. And with that, you get the Colorado River. So what are these Ford off rodeo? So for the first thing, they are free, but you do need to get yourself to the off rodeo and you do need to pay for your own accommodation. But your two days there, 
which you'll be able to buy a bunch of stuff too, but your two days there, the training that they give you is going to be complimentary with your purchase. So the first one in Austin is gonna be open sometime next summer. And it's a two day sort of a driver development training course. The first day you're gonna learn about the fundamentals of off-roading. Ford is gonna show you how the Bronco works, that both Broncos and their whole little ecosystem. I expect you're gonna see things like driver technique, how to pick your line, how to use the 4x4 system, how traction works. They wanna introduce people to off-roading. Now on the second day, you're gonna have a choice. You're gonna be able to go on some type of an adventure, which is gonna be based around location. So think uh, like hiking, rafting, kayaking. So for the Austin, Texas, I'm thinking possibly rafting, kayaking. I don't really know, I'm just sort of guessing right now. Or you can go continue in the Bronco and go on some trails and do some more sort of advanced training. The official vehicle of these Ford Off-Rodeo events is the Bronco Sport Off-Rodeo Adventure Patrol. So this is one of the concepts that they are featuring as well that we, they just released today. So they say this complements the off-road capability and technology feature of the Bronco Sport Badlands with cutting edge adventure gear. So this is the Badlands. The Badlands is the one that you want if you're gonna be in the Bronco Sport and you wanna go off-roading. So the stuff that they are highlighting here is this Yakima lock and load platform roof rack, high lift jack, the Yeti Tundra 35 cooler, marmot duffel bags, and some graphics. So of course they're trying to encourage the aftermarket. These are more accessories, I guess, but uh, these things are hopefully gonna make it into production through some various manufacturers. It's also got 31 inch BF Goodrich Alterine TA KO2 tires. Apparently those aren't in production yet either. If you want to stay up in touch with Bronco News, Ford News, Toyota, whatever, please subscribe. I've got a couple videos up on screen right now, which I know you're gonna wanna click on one of them. My name is Eric and I will see you in the next video.